when you're editing videos, there might be times when you want to add in a bit of details uh, to remember things, especially when uh, the video editing project is huge. So in that case, you can add in something called markers. So I'm going to go around over here on to, let's say this space. So I'm going to just go around and bring in my timeline cursor over here. And then I'm going to click on markers right here. So once I do that on the right hand side, you can see that markers uh, option is here. So I can press the plus button over here and the marker has been added in. So the green marker is added in. So this is the color. So you can go around over here, click on color and change around the color as you wish as well. And the marker has been added in. You can also go around and set the start and end point of the marker right here. So this is the marker as you can see right here. So start and end point can be set just like this as well. And you can go around over here, name the marker to however you like. So let's say I'm going to go around and say to the tube right here. And then there you go. So there is the marker as you can see on this particular uh, section. You can go around on to other section as well and add in marker over here. So press the plus button and there's another marker over here as you can see. So if I were to go around, I can say uh, for cutting just like this. Then I can go around onto the right side again, press the plus button and I'm going to go around again. And for this marker, I'm going to say for cut again right here. So there you go, you can see that this is the marker right here and I can uh, click and drag this around wherever I, uh, I want. And for future reference, you can go around and see what the markers are. If you were to click around on the markers, you can see all the details right here. So you can close this around and these are the markers as you can see. So uh, if you were to go around, you can see the details right here, just like this. You can go around over here on to uh, let's say view right here, go access out markers to access out the individual markers as well. So you can change out the color of the individual marker as well. Uh, to uh, keep them separate uh, from one another as well so that it's easily recognizable as you can see. So that is how you can work around with markers inside of Shortcut. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.